Well, it's another day and another day of layoffs in the world of gaming. This time at Midnight Society, the gaming studio founded by a famous and now controversial Twitch streamer, Dr. Disrespect. The company was working with Beam to leverage his fame and his overall style as a Twitch streamer to create an extraction first-person shooter similar to Escape from Tarkov, only in this case, cosmetics would drop in the game, which would be NFTs. The initial reports from the playtesting of the game over the last year or so by Twitch streamers and backers has been pretty positive. Not really my kind of game, but overall the mood seemed to have been good around the project. And then this all came crashing down a few months ago when Beam came back out onto Twitter and confirmed that he had indeed been fired from Twitch for sending inappropriate messages to a minor. And there's a sort of sick irony to it that Beam is now making his return to the content creation scene at the same time Midnight Society have recently announced that they are going to have to be laying off a substantial amount of their workforce prior to the game's 2025 aimed release, which I think is raising some serious concerns about whether or not the game will be finished. These layoffs were confirmed by Tyler Moore, who is the senior environment artist at Midnight Society, wishing the company well, but it's generally a really bad sign if before the game is done, you're laying off your senior environment artist is kind of, it's bad. Like it's, it's not a good sign at all. And this is one of those, you know, unequivocal cases where the people getting fired, you just totally wish them well because they've been caught in an absolutely ridiculous set of circumstances that there's, there's literally nothing they can do about, right? The game studio did try and break ties with Dr. Disrespect back in the end of June, but one would assume without his followers investing money into the game, as well as his own rather substantial individual wealth backing the game, that they're probably having funding issues, though all my searching, I can't find any explicit data. So this is just speculation on my part that they're now out of money because they don't have his backing. I think that makes sense, though there's no confirmed proof of that. And what makes it kind of doubly painful, or it must be for the developers, is they're now working on a game that they were probably reasonably handsomely paid to make with every promise of it being probably a pretty huge success. I mean, for those of you that aren't into Twitch, because I'm assuming there are people that watch my videos that are YouTube people and don't really, really watch a lot of Twitch. Dr. Disrespect, when he first came on the Twitch streaming scene, it was it was mind blowing how successful he was. He was pulling numbers that nowadays people would pull, a, a, a kind of Kai Sinek could pull. But when he first came on the scene, man, it was, he raised content creation to an absolutely new level. And because of that, he has still a lot of loyal fans, but not just loyal fans, fans that are loyal explicitly within the extraction shooter and um, battle royale genre, which is where he cut his teeth, where he made himself famous. And so now that they've cut ties with him, a lot of the fan base within those communities are angry at the studio. So they're, they're doubly screwed because on one hand, you can't release a video game with one of the heads, founders and um, funding sources of your studio being a famous Twitch streamer that came out and said, yeah, I just fired me for talking to a minor because you can't do that with a game. It just, it won't work on a, on a business level. On the other hand, by doing that, they've just alienated a large section of the people, if not almost all the people that were going to be super interested in their game. And another aspect of the game was, you know, it was one of those, and this way with all extraction battle royale shooters, I don't know if you guys play those kind of games. They're really a hype based game. You know, the battle royale genre exploded onto the scene with uh, PUBG and then Fortnite, and they kind of rely on hype to get people in. And you could imagine if, if none of this had happened with the Dr. Disrespect drama, that this game would have probably been a very huge success. And the poor developers now are floundering. I, I really, I've, in my opinion, they had absolutely no option but to let him go. If you disagree, let me know what you think in the comments below. But from a business perspective, I, I don't see how it's viable, uh, especially given the 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 implications of making a computer game and the responsibility involved in that. Having a look at the company's Twitter more or less backs up what I've been thinking so far. The vast majority of the comments seem to be Dr. Disrespect fans telling the company that they're nothing without him. We have one from iPro Social here. No doc, no dead drop. We have another one from Kush Beaver TTV here. Y'all wouldn't even exist without doc and I can't wait until your game flops. 
Another one here from BJ, bring back Doc. Another from Matrix Mayor here, we want Doc skin back. I mean, these developers are just not going to have a good time. I mean, this is this is not a. Uh, I mean, this is one of those videos where I'm really curious what you, my viewer, think. I mean, let me know in the comments below. I, I just don't think there's anything else they could have conceivably done to make the situation any better. Either way, they lose. If they let Dr. Disrespect go, let's ignore the ethics of it. Let's just think about it from a business perspective. If they let Dr. Disrespect go, they're screwed because they're going to lose any support from people that don't like him on Twitch that have just heard the rumors about him messaging a minor and seeing that he's confirmed that he did it. That's it for a lot of people. So they're going to lose those people. Uh, they're going to lose like any kind of mainstream outreach for the game. People are just going to know the game from its association with him and things that are being said about him. On the other hand, if they uh, let him go as they, as they chose to do, I mean, he's he's so known in that space, man, and he has so many fans in that space, and he was the game. So I mean, they're just there. I don't think there's a solution. There's nothing they could have done. I'm kind of surprised, frankly, that they're continuing to make the game. I had just assumed the game was canceled. It's one of the reasons I made this video. Was I? I, I just thought the game was over, but apparently not. Apparently, they've done some kind of internal budgeting with what money they do have, and they've scaled down to a team that they think will be able to complete the game sometime in 2025. You may notice if you're still around that I haven't given my own opinions on the whole Dr. Disrespect case. At the moment, I can kind of see both sides. I have my opinion. I'm going to keep it to myself for this video because I'm really trying to focus on the people that are losing their jobs because this is, I mean, there are cases of game devs losing their jobs lately. I've spoken about them on this channel where there's a bit of schadenfreude, you know, that German word where you enjoy the suffering of other people. It's a very German thing to do. No offense, my German viewers. But, you know, we get that. I, we, I kind of feel that with the Concord developers a little bit, right? And and uh, some other, particularly AAA studios, when they do stuff that kind of deserves to not be bought. But I mean, if you got hired by Midnight Society, they're an up and coming developer. They had a lot of money behind them, full AAA budget, going to make a game that's probably a huge hit. They brought on some really big name talent from from studios that that have made some big successful games. So you'd go into that job thinking, whoa, I'm going to weather the horrible time in the gaming industry and we're going to make something that's almost a guaranteed success. And uh, now you've lost your job because of something the founder of the company did that materially doesn't really have anything to do with the development of the game, but definitely massively, hugely is going to affect the game's success. If you actually do want my opinion on the Dr. Disrespect thing, maybe I'll make a video on that below. I don't know what the comment section of this video is going to look like. If that's the sort of thing you do want to discuss, well, let me know and I'll do it in the next video. And if you want to see that video, like and subscribe to the channel. Sorry, I'm a little bit low energy today. It's day two of the insomnia. The first day, the last video, check it out. I was kind of giggly. And then today, I'm just sad and tired. And this is not a happy news story either. I really, really feel bad for those guys, you know, losing their jobs for such a, such a pointless reason. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.